there's some things you really, really need to know before, during, and after you buy your brand spanking new fresh water, fresh to death, hella hot blue angelfish. There's a lot of shenanigans going on when it comes to angelfish and angelfish shells and angelfish breeders and angelfish just so just just a lot of stuff that that you need to know before you get these fish. And that's where I come in. All right? I'm going to give you the information so you don't get taken for a sucker. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you can just consider me your guardian angel fish. <laughs> I had to do it. I know it's corny, but I'm your guardian angel fish. <laughs> You're going to run into two, two major problems in your hunt for the perfect blue angel fish for your aquarium. The first one is going to be the name of the fish and all the different varieties of names to describe blue angelfish. Number two is going to be the images that pop up when you Google it on the interweb. Let me explain to you what I say. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Look up blue angelfish. Thinking is as simple as finding blue angelfish. No. Nay. There's a whole lot of names that describe blue angelfish. I wrote them down. You want to know? Blue angelfish, blue pariba angelfish, smoky blue angelfish, blue zebra angelfish, marble blue angelfish, Philippine blue angelfish, cobalt blue angelfish, avatar angelfish, blue ghost angelfish, Bulgarian green angelfish, which actually has a shade of blue in it. So that's probably why you also get Bulgarian blue angelfish. See, angelfish breeders and angelfish dealers do this silly, silly thing. I have, I've complained about it many, 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 many times. They'll just throw names at these fish to make them more desirable to the consumer. When in all actuality, all it is is a different look to a specific one. For instance, let's say I have, um, let's say a regular old silver angelfish right S zebra angelfish silver black stripes now by some happen chance by some craps game of dna one of these babies or a couple of the babies that come from these two zebra angelfish comes out looking a little bit different just like people do just because a mother and father have a child that don't mean the child's gonna look 100 percent like either one of the parents. There could be some genetic uh, ha-has to, you know, throw it in there and, and it might, the child might look a little different. Um, uh, uh, dwarfism, um, albinoism, sexyism, uglyism. It could be anything. Same thing with angelfish. But what happens is, is when this happens, these breeders or these dealers will take that fish that looks different and they'll call it something else. When it all actually, when it when was all actual, what the hell did I just say? When in all actuality, it's just a zebra angelfish that looks different. If you take those different looking fish and breed two of them, chances are the babies are gonna look like the original grandparents. It's just a genetic hiccup, but everybody wants to throw different names at it to charge you more money. Don't be a sucker, don't do it. So, same thing goes for the blue angelfish. In fact, even more so. Depending on where you go, what part of the world, who you're talking to, these fish are called different things. Now, at the end of this video, I am gonna give you some names of fish that I feel are pretty much uniform throughout the angelfish um universe so you'd be able to pretty much get what you wanted if you use these and, and and to be honest with you i think what you're looking for is what i'm gonna tell you so stick around for that and i'll set you straight on that one filters everybody takes selfie with filters there's some type of enhancement going on everybody does it you know what i mean let me take a selfie oh what's this what's this let's go ahead and get get rid of that oh what's up with all this let's go ahead and do 
Same thing for the angelfish. When you want to take a picture of your fish and show it off, these people put filters. They're not as blue as you think they are, according to that picture. Not only that, you can use certain lights to enhance the blue too. So buyer beware, you're not gonna get that blue angelfish that you think you are. But like I said, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some where it's pretty blue. You will be happy. It's not gonna look as brilliant as, it's not gonna look like a Smurf angelfish, you know what I'm saying? But it'll be pretty blue, you'll be more than happy with it. I'd be lying to you if I said in doing my thumbnails, I didn't do it. In fact, the thumbnail for this video, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I fiddled with the colors because I wanted to pop. I wanted to grab your attention. Same thing with everybody else. They want to grab your attention, they want the blue to pop, so they enhance the colors. Not everybody who does that is an evil person. The truth of the matter is, sometimes you want to take a picture of your fish because your fish looks so beautiful and blue that your camera doesn't quite pick up what you're seeing. You take a photo and it's not quite as brilliant as real life, so you got to help it along. Only in doing that, you get a little overzealous. You know what I mean? Either way, whatever you see on the internet, more than likely, is not what you're going to get. All right, folks. You done told me that you can't trust the mains and you can't trust what they look like. Where the hell am I supposed to get these blue angelfish from? Word of mouth when it comes to um, most things in the aquarium hobby, I believe, works the best. Seriously. Anybody could put anything on the internet and, and say it's true. So what you want to do is, is you want to ask people who have no skin in the game, right? You don't want to ask your 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 LFS because they're gonna tell you whatever they anything they feel that is necessary for you to buy the fish. Same thing for the breeders. You want to ask people who's dealt with them before. So I do suggest uh, checking out reviews of anybody you buy from. Also, I'm not real big on Facebook um, groups and stuff like that, but I gotta admit, anytime I have. Um, any type of question or, or research or I, I I want something answered face angelfish Facebook groups are probably the most welcoming and non oish but hoish that I say the a word um, out of all the other groups so I I would feel comfortable telling you go to find an angelfish Facebook group one per, per prime preferably in your area right so that they can say and say hey who's the best place to buy blue angelfish and what kinds do they have um and like i said they have no skin in you they have no reason to lie to you right um if you're getting from online same thing has anybody ever bought from so and so's super blue angels if so what was your experience what to look out for that would be my suggestion to you as to who to get them from you do want to ask a couple of questions. I, I ain't gonna lie, you do want to ask a couple of questions. Um, first question you're gonna want to ask is, is the picture, like if you, especially if you're buying online, uh, if you're buying from a breeder, you want to go there. Can I go there and see the parents? If you're going to buy them from somebody who's breeding angelfish out their garage or, or they're a breeder, you know, they have a breeding operation and you can go there, ask to see their, um, their parents now more than likely they're not gonna know the exact parents if they have multiple um you know breeding pairs but at least you could see the breeding pairs that more than likely the fish you're buying is coming from so if those look good chances are your fr your um your fry is gonna grow up your or your juveniles are gonna grow up to look just as good just because and I, I just I just thought of this. I just thought of this. Just because they're breeding angelfish at their facility doesn't necessarily mean that the angelfish that they're selling, they bred. A trick that um, is done a lot with fish breeders in general is they'll breed a particular fish, but to keep up with the demand, it's a lot easier to import. So for instance, if I was breeding blue marbles, yeah. It's a lot of work to breed blue marbles, 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 angelfish to scale if your business is booming, right? So what do you do is you outsource. So you order blue marbles. So that, 
that that's that's something that yeah were those fish bred at at the, at the facility if so are those the parents if they're um over the internet and you can't go there and you can talk to them on the phone if they would be nice enough to take a picture and send it to you that'd be great chances are they're not gonna say they're gonna say the picture on the internet is is the same picture that these fish came from at that point it's 50 shot 50 50 shot that they're telling the truth but these are some things you want to ask these angelfish places they really really want to sell you um angelfish that are dime size their body their body is dime size. if they say dime size and you get a fish that the entire body the entire fish including the fins can fit inside of a dime that's too small that's actually pea size when someone says dime size they're talking about the actual body of it without the fins that should be the size of a dime i don't particularly like getting fish that size because from a dime to a quarter they go through a dramatic change in fin to body ratio their colors check their, their patterns change so i don't really like getting fish that small i will get i will be okay buying fish where their bodies are quarter size but i'd much rather have them half dollar size when you get blue angel fish i don't care what type of blue angel fish you get when you get blue angel fish when they're little they are not blue at all have no blue on them whatsoever that blue does not come in till they become young sub juvenile larger juvenile adults um half dollar size even at quarter size they're not gonna really have any blue on them you might on a occasion see a couple of uh, nice ones but for the most part no know that so that you don't look like a a-hole when you call them up you say i don't want a blue angel fish none of these angel fish are blue i'm gonna tell you what they're gonna turn blue in time yeah but it's gonna take a little bit more time than just a couple of days so keep that in mind don't be hot-headed they will turn blue eventually food they eat the same things that um angel all angel fish eat that blue is nothing special now i will tell you this I will tell you this in a lot of asian countries they do use a chemical especially for african cichlids where it enhances their natural color but once they're sold to people in the u.s and they're no longer using those chemicals those colors will not be as brilliant not only that if you breed them because those fry from those those chemically enhanced colored fish um will not have the parents color so be aware that you know that is also a possibility there is color enhancement food it's not gonna enhance the color so much that you can be like oh my god like you know it's glowing but it will keep it will keep their colors vibrant so i would do a color enhancement food um tetra makes it go there's a bunch of there's a bunch of places out there if it says color enhancement um high protein because a fish uh, angel fish likes that high protein um that's that's the food you want to go with tank mates this is a this is a this is an interesting one um they're regular angel fish you can put them in with anything you can any other angel fish in my experience right and this is this is my personal experience and this is this is the stuff this is the this is the good stuff this is the juicy stuff this is the stuff you really want to know i had a blue angelfish it was a cobalt blue angelfish it was the meanest angelfish i've ever had in my life it killed a lot of other angelfish anytime you get these designer angelfish inbreeding is a huge part in um creating these designer lines super red blue platinum any of these there's a whole lot of inbreeding involved when in any animal if you have a whole lot of inbreeding involved you run the risk of aggression like really really serious aggression issues um there are a couple of names that is pretty uniform that if you see it or you ask for it it's pretty much what you might get and I'm gonna start out with the blue marble. If there's no there's no question of a marble angelfish, it's pretty much um, recognized no matter who or where you are. A marble's a marble. So a blue marble. If you ask for a blue marble, 
there's no way that anybody could get confused as to what it is and send you something else so blue marbles are safe if you're ordering blue marbles um avatar avatar angelfish um there's no denying on what an avatar angelfish looks like so um you're pretty much safe if you order avatar angelfish avatar green um bulgarian green point angelfish they have a bluish like, like a turquoise so and there's also avatar blues so those you're pretty much um gonna get what you're looking for blue smoke um there's no denying what a smoky angelfish looks like but for me oh and blue pinoys and philippine blues that's a crapshoot I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you unless you get confirmation from somebody who's who's really really serious about it i would say that you, you're taking a chance getting those fish from somebody you don't know or don't trust or don't have a you know a go-to person to trust you know like a a word of mouth thing um because those philippine blue and um um pinoys um blue pinoys they're they're um probably the most mislabeled angel fish blue angel fish there is Buyer beware when it comes to Philippine blue or blue pinoys. If you're looking for a blue blue angelfish, right? The bluest angelfish that you can pretty much regularly buy and be safe and happy that and, and, and feel confident, go looking for a cobalt blue angelfish. Right? You might see electric cobalt blue or whatever. As long as it says cobalt blue. Now these they're pretty much blue with stripes or some remnants of stripes. And their, their patterns may not be as spectacular as some of the other patterns, but a full grown cobalt blue angelfish, I would put up against any of the other ones as far as how beautiful and blue they are. Don't be a sucker. Pay attention to this video. Come back to it if you need to. Trust me on this one because I'm a YouTuber and YouTubers never lie.